Pixel and Twix if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another one and done. This is going to be on Travel Ma Tavern Master, um, as you can see by the teaser screen. So a little backstory, I did uh, download this game during the like demo Lollapalooza or whatever it was on Steam a couple weeks ago. And I decided that I wanted to try the game in full. So I did check for a key from the publisher and they were gracious enough to provide me with the full copy. And so here we are in uh, Tavern Master now. Let me make sure I click on this because you guys can see like my little taskbar and stuff. So that's so professional. Anyways, um, I did play the game a little bit, so I kind of know what's going on. But there are some things that I did not get a chance to experience in the game. So mind you, this is not something that I would normally play on the channel. But to me, this is kind of a, a real chill management type game. I'm not very good at those, but I figured why not? Why not? try something new uh, bring a little more variety to the channel as I like to do normally I know you guys get tired of seeing boundless sometimes so I am um, willing to try new things as of late you can see anyway so let's get into this game so like I said I have played a little bit of it um, I wanted to make sure I got the controls down and the settings what have you so let's get into a new game start loading up. Now I'm going to kind of give you guys a like tutorial version of this one and done because it it's not an exciting quote unquote game. If that makes sense, it's a, it's a management game. So there's a um, little less action, a little more thought process. All right. So welcome to your tavern. You will be in charge of managing and growing your business. All right. So Right off the bat, we'll notice that there is a wall missing, and this is just giving us instructions on how to rotate and navigate through the game. Uh, pretty simple, you know, pretty simple controls, WASD to kind of move around, then your right mouse button. So it is telling me that the wall is missing, So and there aren't any doors and windows. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fix that. So here the menu is fairly simple. You can delete a wall here, add a wall here. There's a door and window. Not a lot of options as far as the windows are concerned. I'm hoping that'll be something that will be added as the game progresses in development. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add the wall here, then the door. So they kind of tell you where to put things right off the bat. So, I mean, we can, we, okay. So what I've discovered, you can't move this window around. Um, once you've placed it, it's that's it. Other, otherwise, you'd have to delete the wall. And I don't, I don't think you can delete this wall. Maybe you can. Oh, it's not letting me do it, anyways. Okay. So now I need to do what? Okay, we only have one table in our tavern right now. So I need to add another table. So here's the menu down here for tables and decor. And decor and the quality of the furnishings that you put into. Your tavern will um, affect the prestige. And if you're a boundless play player, you know what prestige is. And of course, I mean, it's pretty simple. The higher quality furniture you get, the more your bar uh, is worth, I guess. Um, all right, so we're gonna put in this table. I have to put it exactly where. I'm gonna move stuff around as I progress because um, I feel like you, I can move this table over a little bit. I'm going to use this right here and here. Okay. So lighting. We can see that one of the benches is not inside any light range. Let's buy a candle light. Light the candle. All right. Um, so grab the l candle. So I did notice, too, you can't put any candles on the wall, which is unfortunate because I would have loved to put something here. But we're gonna put candle here. And now we need to make sure we have drinks on deck. So to buy beer, we should go to the bar first. Click on the bar, so open the menu. Okay, so we got beer barrel. So if we look through here, as we progress, we can unlock um, wine barrels, ale, um, milk, cider, mead, I think, oh, lemonade as well. 
But right now we have beer, so we're gonna fill it up. Okay. Right, so we're done, no? Did I do it? Yeah, okay, so we're right here. Microphone's in the way. All right, so great job. We now have a place for people to sit down. Um, okay, so we need to staff. So what I did notice about this game, I started playing Traveler's Rest um, a couple days ago, and there are a lot of similarities with both um, IPs. Both are uh, ind uh, indie prods, or um, you know, indie prods, and but one's more pixelated than the other. This one obviously has; they're both cartoony, but this one the graphics are a little, a lot more realistic. Um, there's a little more micromanagement in Traveler's Rest, but again, very similar games. All right, so let's get into the staffing. So we can choose from bartenders, waitresses. And then we'll get into further staffing later. Um, so, so each bartender that you have have to choose from have different stats. Now you can level up these stats as you go along. So honestly, right now it really doesn't matter because as you progress, these bartenders will level up. So, um, I mean they're kind of equal. This one can carry more drinks. Um, as far as like carrying speed, this one's faster. But I think I'm going to go with Bert. Yeah, I'm going to go with Bert. So let's hire the wait staff. Okay, and you can actually end up hiring more wait staff as you progress as well. Um, let me see, where are we going? You should hire wait staff. Okay, so what do we got? We got Brienne, Helga, Tamara, and Judy. Hmm. Salary's the same. Helga and Brienne get additional tips, which helps with their salary overall. Helga's mood decreases 20% slower. And she gets an extra tip per every drink served for Brienne, which again will help with, I think, her mood as well. Because pay also um, can affect their mood. So I'm gonna go with Brienne. Yeah, I'm gonna go with her. Bert and Brienne. Okay. Can't name your tavern, unfortunately. Wish you could, but all right. So. We've prepared everything needed for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unlock new staff, new staff from the tavern. Uh, click the research button. So this is where you can start researching um, unlocks. Okay, so upgrades are research by serving different types of guests, and you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. Okay, so this is the first thing that we can unlock. So here's what I don't understand about the game quite yet. And maybe this is something that I can kind of figure out as I progress. I think I'm going to turn this music down because the music is really loud in my ear. I really can't hear myself talk. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and research the kitchen. So basically what this is going to do is open up the kitchen. So right now all we have the option to serve is drinks. Um, but if we serve 25 common people, will open up the kitchen and then so on and so forth. So I did notice that these icons do change colors. Um, like there's a yellow and there's like an orangey color. So I am assuming those are like levels of like maybe common people to like, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what, it's not clear. Um, and maybe I'm missing something like, okay, this is common, the white. So what does yellow mean? You know, what does the yellow icon mean? But anyways, we're going to get to that later. Okay, so number of guests per day tells you how many people will come into your tavern. So that's over here. So right now, 29.1 um, guests per, per day on average would come into the tavern. So buying decoration, decorations and upgrading uh, furniture and things like that increases our prestige, will increase the... Um, the number of people that come in and the um, the caliber of person that comes in. I guess that's 
the way I can explain it, the best way I can explain it. All right, so let's get started. And this is a 12 hour day, so it runs from, I think it's 12 hour day. At least I know it runs till 12 a.m. That's when the day ends. All right, so my final tip to you is that you watch out if there's enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Okay, you also need to watch um, the moods of the staff members. And um, you also need to watch, like, how much um, dr uh, beer, ale, whatever you have going. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. And like I said, you need to watch, like, the mood here. See, this is another thing I don't get. Um, this is where you level up your characters, or your characters. This is where you level up your staff and um, you can increase their salaries here. This I don't understand. What I'm assuming is like, this is like prioritizing. Um, like, okay, we want you to clean but not make it such a big priority, but drinks make that like sad, right? That's what I'm getting from that. And of course, cleaning food, room service. Room service comes later as you progress. Haven't exactly, um, opened up room service yet so I don't even know how that situation works yet so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get serving things looks like our tables are getting full pretty fast um, yeah look so I'm gonna go ahead and buy well let's wait let's wait till the end of the day let's see how that goes because uh, nobody's walking in right now but um, and I've only got one waitress so I don't want to like overwhelm her and overwork her and looks like people are leaving pretty quickly. Um, now the art style kind of reminds me of, have you ever played The Tenants? Do you guys, are you familiar with The Tenants? That's what the art style kind of reminds me of, which I like, I like the art style here. Um, and I don't mind the pixelated art style either. I mean, hence the pixelated Twix. Um, I, I don't mind a, a pixelated game, um, especially for something like chill like this. And honestly, this would be a really good chill tablet game um i guess it, it may get a little bit over well like fallout shelter you could put up quite a few people in your shelter so this may not be so bad on a tablet especially like the the newer ones all right so um the day is over 12 a.m looks like we can uh upgrade our staff or level up a waitress um so here we will level up and we get skill points to put in what we want um so let's give her some more carrying speed right now i don't care about climbing stairs because we don't have any stairs to worry about so i think what i'm going to focus on are these first three um tip maybe not so much right now so all right so let's head into the next day now this is where we're our daily summary like we are we made some money but not enough and that's probably because we made some purchases right but uh, had we not purchased anything we would have been fine but this will get better as we progress so let's let's head into the next day shall we all right so our prestige right now is kind of low um i think i might tr focus on that as i get a little bit more money and research wise we have seven more people to serve before we complete our research. Um, I think I might be able to add another table. We'll see. I mean, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe let's, let's add another, sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, let's add another table. Can I? Oh, I was going to say. Um, let's put it here. And then... I mean, that's kind of going to hurt us a little bit as far as money is concerned, but maybe not. Um, six more people. I mean, it might overwhelm the waitress. So, yeah, I, I actually did need a new table. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Can't zoom in too, too much. Um, didn't I say it was, oh, somebody leveled up, Queen. sweet, the bartender. 
All right, so he can, let's give him some carrying speed as well. Um, let's give him some pouring speed and okay. Let's check our levels. We're good for that. Um, let me see. Okay. All right, so we unlocked the kitchen. Cool. Okay, so we can start building. Let's let's first do, okay, so we need to add a chef. Let's first work on the kitchen. Um, let's start research on, oh gosh, what do I want, waitress or, let's do the research on the guests. That way we can add um, the other things faster. Okay, so let's get to building. Um, hmm. What do I want the kitchen? If I add the kitchen here, I can expand out. I don't know. I kind of want to put the kitchen here. That way it can go kitchen bar. Or I could put it back here. That might be a mistake. Okay, let's just do this. Let's, let's add the kitchen here. I feel like that's gonna be a mistake, but I kind of want to make it get a pretty good sized area, right? And so, also uh, when you build, these walls cost, but these don't. Um, like additional windows and stuff don't cost. Um, like wall textures are free as well. So if you want to like add a little wall texture here. Um, you know, to give it a little little flavor. Uh, let's do that here. All right, and then floor texture. I like the, what is this? Is this like a stone? Let's put that here. And then I feel like this is gonna be too small. Um, yeah, I feel like this is gonna be too small. Let me do this. Let me, let me cut that out. And then, I mean, this, might be floor texture add something here okay so then of course I'm gonna have to even this out actually I kind of like let's do that yeah I like that I don't know why all right and so we gotta go back out of here and go into kitchen so we need a counter and so I should put it like right here, maybe. Like right here. Let's do that right there. So I need one of these. Um, okay, so let's put this here. And then I need a crate. So let's put that. Here, can I put this here? Let's just put this here for now. Like that, I don't know. Okay, so we need to hire a chef. Oh wait, shoot. Um, so we got Isaac, Wharton, Abram, and Henry. Um, ooh. Right, so he attracts seven. Let's go with him since he attracts more customers. Oh, our day's already over. Let's grab him. He's kind of, he's okay. So let's, let's, let's hold the phone right here. So Isaac is skilled in desserts, but not main courses, which could pose a problem, but he does attract more customers. Um, but Wharton, he has. Some skill in courses, soups, and desserts. And he receives a bonus in money. Let's go with Wharton. Yeah. I think that'd be a good choice. All right. Now, uh, so we, okay, sweet. So we opened up. Let's research another waitress first. And then we'll add lemonade. So let's start. 
All right, so here you need to make sure that you have enough food, uh, which right now, let's fill this up. And then, let's see. I think we're good right now with water and beer. And can he get over here? Oh, okay. Wait, did I? I don't, I don't have this turned the right way, do I? Nope, I sure don't. This is wrong. All right, let me fix this. Let me fix this. It won't let me? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't, okay. Cool, that's better. Oh, I need a light. I need to put a light here, don't I? Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, so basic, this is real basic. I mean, as far as like getting everything set up, pretty easy to start. I'm assuming that as you progress, it's gonna get a little more difficult um, to manage. I don't know all the unlocks yet, but I do know that there are some things that like events you can unlock, like right here, special events. Um, and not quite sure what all that entails. Now this is what I'm talking about with the icons kind of change. So I'm assuming like this is a higher um, caliber of guest or quality guest. Um, so I don't know which one's higher than the other. Like if the yellow is higher than the orange and if it goes any higher, okay, so here's, I don't know what that is. Like maybe that's royalty because purple means royalty. I, I have no idea. And there's no like legend to tell me what's what. Oh, okay, so look, big hotel furniture, unlimited waitress. Oh, so wow, okay. So eventually I can get unlimited waitresses, unlimited chefs. This tells me that this can get pretty big. Okay, all right. So the menu, looks like we leveled up. So the menu items unlock as you add to the kitchen and there are specific like furnishings that you need to cook certain items. But the um, you can change the, the items on the menu um, as you wish by clicking here and then they level up as you, your chef gets better and better at cooking them. Um, so we did that, now what's here? Okay, Brienne, so Brienne's upset, look. Brienne's upset, but if we level her, she gets, she's happy again. Her salary goes up, because that's automatic when she levels up. Um, we didn't make that much money this time around, but we're gonna go ahead and add more drinks for her to carry, more carrying speed. I keep wanting to fire her, okay, cool. And how are we doing? We need eight more people to get the waitress. Okay, so that will be our next goal. Okay, so we have unlocked lemonade and I'm gonna go ahead and add the barrel and then I need to fill everything up because everything was kind of low. Also, I hired another waitress, I hired Helga um, and these are her stats and I went ahead and I'm trying to play around with this a little bit. So I made cleaning, I think, her priority. Um, and then food and drink secondary. And then room service. You know, not worried really worried about that right now. All right, so we need to level up Fruit Bowl. And let's check on our chef, see how he's doing. Check on everybody. Wharton seems to be doing okay. And everybody else is happy. All right. So the next research, um, I went ahead and clicked, well, that was the only one that I could click on was special events. So I need to serve 42 people. Um, so what I'm gonna do, um, let me let me do this, let me do this, is add another table, because actually I should have been done that. I should have been done it. Um, all right, so, and throw this here and here. I may need to expand this out a little bit. We'll see. I'm thinking I might. We'll see. We'll see how this day goes. Right now, we're looking at 47 people on average, so we should. It's 5 p.m. We won't get it today, but we'll get it tomorrow, I think. And then uh, let me turn this music down because I, I feel like, let me just turn the music all the way down. There we go. Wait a minute. Where are we at with the settings. Okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, I'm thinking, where are we at? 
Like, did I just turn like the sound down completely? What did I do? That's the music. Okay, so it's just music. There's no additional sound except for, for maybe like the notification. So let me just make sure I check food. Food's good. We're good with that. We're good on the drinks and such. Level up the cream rolls. Um, I want to see what we need. So I need a fireplace grill and a chopping table. Is that for everything? Okay, so I'm hoping more food items will unlock. Because, no, nah, I mean, these are okay. It's kind of limited, but, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But since I'm not the one actually doing it. So I did mention before, like, Traveler's Rest. Okay, I did, like, turn, like, the volume down completely. So I mentioned, like, the Traveler's Rest. There's a little more micromanagement. And by that, I mean, like, you actually have to manually clean up after your customers this one you just kind of click and let it go so i mean depending on how involved you want to be with the game is going to you know going to to me or like obviously art style is going to matter too um so if you like this type of game always want to run your own tavern pub and you know you like management games you could choose between travel's rest or this one and Again, depends on how involved you want to be. This one is not as involved, so I think it could get a little repetitive. But um, we'll see about the special events before I make that like that statement set in stone. And then, of course, I haven't unlocked. Um, I've unlocked a lot, so we'll see. I'm sure this will get, like I said, harder before. Um, it'll get harder as we progress because if we can have unlimited waitresses and bartenders, yeah, this could probably get really crazy. Uh, let me turn the music back on because this now it just sounds dead. Okay, so let's get so cherry cake. Oh, cherry cake sounds really good. I am craving sweets this week, like crazy. All right. Um, okay, so Brianna's not too happy right now. So we're going to have to increase our salary, not by much, because we don't make a lot of money right now. And then Helga's cool, but she leveled up. So we're going to give her some carrying speed. Let me see. Let's give her more carrying speed right now. Wart leveled up too. So Wart, we're just going to give him more cooking speed or just speed in general. All right, we're good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So we unlocked special events. Okay, let's first, let's do this. Let's research. Let's research. I, I don't know. Let's research wine, I guess. All right, so what is this? Okay, so it looks like these are going to have special requirements. Like for this one, you need a thousand prestige and you need wine. Um, okay, I see. Oh, so I was right. Well, I don't know. Are these like rare visits? Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Like common visits, um, rare visits, and I don't know. We'll see. Um, Viking theme party, pirate gathering. I don't know what that, okay. So let's go with this since we have prestige requirements met and we have lemonade and water. Um, we're making a little money now. So let's do that. And so that's for the 26th. What's, what's, what is today? I don't know. Oh, the 25th. So, oh, fruit. So food's low. Oh gosh. Yeah, let's get that. How's this going? How's this? I mean, this is good. All right, so maybe I should think about expanding this out a little bit. So you guys kind of get the gist of the game. Basically, um, you know, you just kind of watch uh, what your food is at. Um, I think that's good. Where your drinks are at, how your staff is doing, and then, you know, research when you can. Uh, we did do the special events and we made it. I think that one was pretty easy. So, um, and I guess they get better or harder. I don't know. I can't really add anything. Oh, I can. 
Sweet, I can add a bunch of them at one time. I didn't realize that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add events. Like, can I change these up? I can't, I probably should have waited. But anyways, so as events progress, they get a little bit harder, more difficult, but you have to open, unlock them with prestige. Um, but I'm just gonna stick with the lower ones, but you do get bonus money and I did get $200 reward uh, so we're looking good as far as money is concerned I mean look at that it's pretty good so if I kind of watched my the money I spend on items um, I did increase my prestige by a little bit but I kind of want to add a few more things um, to get to a thousand so I can unlock the other events anyways um, this was just a first look at um, this new tavern uh, management game and daily summary we did good did some research real quick let's start research on ale and then we'll level up helga i did level up a couple people helga's obviously leveling up two times faster so i just leveled her up um but we're gonna go ahead and give her some more carrying speed and um okay all right guys that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this first look and I hope to see you back again soon. Until next time, ciao.